hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about the eating cutler hammer fire pump electric controller how to set it up and what I have here is the eating controller that is controlling the pumps that we made video on on eating all right so then from the interface you could see that the pressure is 276 psi it's quite small the frequency is 50 hertz we have the date all right and the time it's actually wrong date right but don't worry about that what we need is what is most important and the voltage across a and B, B, C and A, C is written there and the amps because the system is in off condition so there is no any amps current there all right so then you would see and when the system is in normal condition you could see the power on button that is in lighted condition pump is not running local starts not remote start deluge valve emergency starts interlock on and low pressure all right we have phase reversal, phase failure, fail to start under voltage, over voltage, and so on and so forth. So with all these things in place, this, all these things can be made. You, you can, there is a provision of a slot that you can just activate for the interlocking for low pressure and all these signals that has been put in place. Okay, so let's go straight to how we could just maneuver around this lmr plus okay so first and foremost you start with the menu so the menu is the, um, giving us the main menu the password the password actually is disabled but there is a part that when you are supposed to go there you need to put in a password this is for the original settings and the others right the common ones so now you could use the navigation keys so this is for down Okay, so you can press down to just see the parameters, timer values, alarm, set point, customer input. This custom input and output, it can be configured. Configuration, you can just configure what you want. System configuration menu, main menu. So let's start from the main menu. This password is disabled. Okay, let's leave it. So language, you can change it. So original settings, then you can press this okay so with the original settings daylight savings we can change the date time okay so for the sake of teaching and learning let's do that okay so we have month date and the day of the week so actually today's date is let me see <laughs> today's date uh, what is the date? Guys, tell me, what is the date? My I the mobile? Oh, okay, let me check on this. Uh, today is April 3rd, and it's Thursday. Okay. April 3rd, and it's Thursday. So, man, we press enter day year day of the week day of the week today is uh, Thursday okay so we can change with the navigation key Thursday okay enter oh. navigate month is four four okay enter the day today is today is April 3rd, 3 okay three year twenty five day of the week is Thursday so then we'll come back to the time change time what is the time? It's 
219 so our uh, is 2 and this is increase it so let's say 20 all right okay enter now it has been changed all right so from here you can see the date and all this has been updated so first one is done you press menu it will take you back to the pressure the next one is the what we did is the original settings so the next one is going to be the pressure settings we press enter pressure settings is going to give us the pressure transducer is enabled the pressure start point pressure start point now for this pump the pressure start point is 260 it's the standby pump and it's 260 okay so it has been set to 260 so for example if we want to change because the password has been disabled we can just click and using the up and down button we can adjust it okay and press enter and the same applies to the pressure stop point is 350 the low pressure alarm point is 150 psi high pressure alarm is 320 and we already you know we've already set the stop point but because the stop mode is manual even if it reaches that part it will not stop all right because it has to be manually shut down and low suction shut down it has been disabled and pressure deviation is 10 psi early pressure record is this recording is disabled pressure transducer is enabled all right so it's done for here so then we can come to the timer values now with the timer values you can see it failed to stop timer is three seconds run period time is one minute so the run period time it's with the Eaton we have one minute and up to I think 45 let's see uh, the last is 45 minutes that it can just run by itself but zero zero missed so mostly it's one minute that we just put so then in case if it sets if the runtime if the pump is set in auto mode auto stop mode it's gonna run for one minute and if it's still achieving the same pressure the set point the cut out pressure then after one minute it's gonna stop by itself all right so this is how it works and we have the RPT start mode this is the pump run okay we have acceleration timer weekly test is disabled so we don't experience weekly test pump running all the, uh, all the time fail to start time is 10 seconds sequential start time is 10 seconds run period time is one minute all right okay so then here is done then we can also set the alarm set points so under frequency alarm point is minus 05.5 percent uh, 5 percent phase rotation abc over so these are the points that you can just go through on based on how you would want to set your system right so the custom inputs and outputs this is configuration it's configurable now let's take the it says custom lights or custom inputs or so let's see custom lights so the lights one and lights two means to say let's go to the outputs okay so the outputs are signals that has been given that you can also program all right so for the this is unidentified wait one minute okay especially we have nine inputs that you can customize okay so the first one being let's click on 
so now it's undefined it means to say we've not put in anything there like the output also as well what it's going to signify all right so then if we just click on we can just customize it so okay so using the up and down button we can customize so like let's say we can customize the input to as relief valve discharge emergency switch jockey pump run like this all right so then this one with the inputs if there is any signal then we will get it from the output so for example if we will program this one the input one as low reservoir then it means to say if the pump experiences anything like that or it's being clicked you can get that signal all right so for example also let's go back the output is also the same thing so undefined okay we we'll just click on enter so we can define its load shed low pressure start so it depends on what you want remote start okay so this is going to give you the signal and let's take the lights acknowledge so one enter define fail to stop so lightings can also give you signals so we have light one and light two all right menu menu means to say i'm not saving it if i will press enter that is when i will save it so let's move on to the next so system configuration we did that i think no so with here system configuration needs password all right now because the system configuration entails a lot it will go on from the calibrations and so on and so forth so let's see what is there as we enter the password okay so when you enter the password you will have this the custom order you will have also the foam controller disabled we have calibrate pressure transducer so then if you would want to and let's see what is there again single phase service disabled system voltage is 415 system frequency pressure units you can change to bar psi and so on current transform ratio is 500 to 0 500 is to 0 0.1 amps motor full load amps is 320 so with this if you want to set you can just check the motors full load amps then you can just put it here we have the ip the motor all uh, okay so for example if we would want to calibrate this controller it's already calibrated but i'll just give you a gist on how you will just come directly to the pressure transducer press enter now calibrate current pressure calibrate using zero psi so it is making us understand that whatever that is there now the pressure that is there we want to use it as zero psi as the low low water voltage uh, low water pressure okay so at our lowest point so basically if we want to if we want to calibrate this what we would have done is now as we've been here we will just drain all the water so it will be zero then we will set the low point then after we press enter we will set I, if i press enter now i need to recalibrate it again then you press enter then after you pressurize then the high pressure you will also have to just put it in that is when you can just make your calibration all right just go back okay so that is it for the e-turn thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment whatever that is your take there and we'll be glad to answer you back thank you see you soon